So the first tip that I have for you is to research the medical school and program that you're interviewing for. So for me, I interviewed at one medical school in Canada. And to prepare for my medical school interview, I had a few coffee chats with a few medical students, a few residents, and a few staff physicians as well. And I really wanted to learn a little bit more about their own experiences in their medical school, um, what to expect, what are some of the pros, what are some of the cons, how has the medical school curriculum changed over time since their uh, inception and they started studying at this medical school. And then also, what does the future look like for this for this medical school? What are certain policies and certain initiatives that they're going to be engaging upon? And then also talking to them about what are the mission, visions, and values of this school? What do they care about? What are the different things and themes that I can highlight during my interview that will really show that I'm a great fit for this medical school? And then I also recommend taking a look at the school's websites, various articles that they published, and looking at what initiatives that they're involved in as well. So overall, uh, become very familiar and intimate with the school. And then when the interview does come, if there's an opportunity to kind of share what you've researched, what you've learned about the school, feel free to drop in a few of these anecdotes, a few of these stories that you've picked up along the way. So the second tip that I have for you is to review the common interview questions. And this is in particular for a traditional or a panel interview. And the three big questions for a traditional or panel interview are one, tell me about yourself. Two, why medicine? And then number three is why this school? So for me, when I was preparing for my traditional panel interview, I really took the time to sit down and reflect quite deeply on these different questions thinking about what do I want to, how do I want to come across when I do tell them about myself? Or what are the core reasons that I do want to go to this medical school, for example? So what I recommend doing is just open a Word doc, a Google doc, for example, have these three questions written down, start with bullet points and brainstorming, and then work on formulating a few key responses that you can share. And you may or may not be explicitly asked these questions during your medical school interview. And, but it's important to have these in the back of your mind so that if the opportunity does arrive, you are able to share these responses with the interviewer. The third tip that I have for you is reflection. And what do I mean by reflection? So for me, before I even started practicing any questions from my medical school interview, I sat down on my computer, I opened a Google Doc, and I just basically laid out a lot of different personal stories and personal anecdotes that I thought I wanted to convey during my medical school interview if the opportunity did arise. And what I recommend doing is take a look at the different CanMed roles. So these are professionalism, leadership, a scholar, advocacy, communication, and collaboration. Now think about one or two specific stories that you can tell that align with each of the CanMed roles. And then what I recommend to do when you're formulating these different stories is to follow the star structure. So uh, situation, task, action, result, and then reflection. And uh, the way that I framed my, my answer was I spent one or two sentences on the S, T, and the A, and then you really wanna focus on the two last Rs reflection and the result and the reflection because ultimately I believe that this is what the interviewers really care about uh, so that's where you really want to spend the meat of your answer the fourth piece of advice that I have is practice and for me what I did was I practiced with my friends those who were applying to medical school those who are not applying to medical school I practiced with my siblings with my parents I even recorded myself as well um, basically what I would do is I would get a friend to pick a few random questions and then I'd add those to a Google Drive or to a Google Slides. I would put that in presentation mode, I would press record on my computer, and then I would basically just simulate a uh, interview environment and I would record myself and then afterwards I would view this recording and I would look at what are some of the nervous tics that I have, what's my overall body language like, what's my intonation like. How is my structure of my answers like? And 
overall, I found the practice to be some of the most useful and the most beneficial and best for preparing myself to be both confident and competent come interview day. In addition to these different practice sessions, I think it's good to kind of work your way up to a few different mock interviews. So for me, what I did is I started by going one by one question and then feedback. And then I would then I would extend this into going through a few questions and then feedback. And then ultimately working my way up into 12, 13, 14 or so questions at a time so that I could build the stamina for when the interview did arrive. Fifth piece of advice that I have for you is to stay up to date. And what I mean by this is staying up to date with the current news, both domestically and throughout the world, and both from a medical and a non-medical perspective, because ultimately a lot of things in the world with regards to current world events and current news are quite intertwined. And a few resources that I use that I recommend in particular is a podcast called White Coat Black Art with Brian Goldman. So this is more Canadian focused, but it really goes into a good depth of current medical issues. And this is an emergency room physician, and he interviews various healthcare workers across Canada and the U.S. on various current world issues, current domestic issues, and how they're dealing with these struggles and what different solutions that they're implementing to combat these. And then there's a really good website that I recommend called The Healthy Debate. And this is a Canadian resource as well, but it's a lot of thought pieces that are written by a lot of healthcare thought leaders. And they go into a lot of different personal anecdotes and personal stories and experiences that they've had in the healthcare industry. And I found these two in particular to be very, very helpful. And my sixth piece of advice would to be prepare a list of questions to ask the interviewers at the end. And I think this applies regardless if it's an MMI or a panel interview, but probably more so in a panel interview. So for me, I had a few different questions that I wanted to ask each one of the panelists. And these were both questions that I prepared in advance, but also some that I spontaneously thought of during the interview. And it's really important that these questions are ones that you can't simply look up on Google or ones that the answer is really clear. I think being unique and actually asking a a thought-provoking question that gives the interviewer really something to think about will allow you ultimately to create a quite a lasting impression on them. The seventh piece of advice that I have for you is to be honest and be authentic. And regardless if this is an MMI or a traditional panel interview, You really just want to be yourself during the interview. For me, I wanted to treat this as a conversation between myself and between the interviewers and really just show them who I am as a person, what do I care about, how do I come across, and just really try to have an overall positive mindset throughout the entire interview. So if you can, be yourself and be honest and be authentic. The eighth piece of advice that I have for you is to demonstrate enthusiasm and passion. And this one can come across from your overall body language, tone, intonation, and just the way you come across. But two, I think it can also come across by the previous research that you've done on the school. So showing that you've researched the school, that you're passionate about the school, that you're interested in the different activities, policies, and such that's going on at this medical school that you're interviewing for, I think can really help you stand out. So for me, for example, of course, I really wanted to show that I'm happy to be there today. I was really excited for the interview. Um, Of course, this was like an amazing opportunity for myself, having the opportunity to interview for medical school. And then I also, throughout the interview, was able to share a lot of personal anecdotes, as well as different things that I researched about the medical school and why this school in particular was a place that I was super excited to be at. My ninth piece of advice for you is to stay positive and to stay confident. Regardless if this is an MMI or a traditional panel interview, there are probably going to be a few questions here and there that may or may not trip you up. And I even remember for me, one of the questions kind of threw me aback. But what I tried to do in that moment was to just compose myself and to fall back on the preparation and the training that I did for this medical school interview. 
it's okay to let the interviewers know that or it's okay to let it's okay to ask the interviewers if you can take a pause or a moment to think about your question or to ask them to repeat the question i wouldn't say do this over and over but for one or two questions i think this is totally fine but overall regardless if you think you may have done poorly on a question you may you may not have but even if you did just it's in the past move on to the next question and really just focus on keeping a positive mindset throughout the entire interview. For my 10th and final piece of advice, it would be to be kind and be nice. So you wanna leave a good and positive lasting impression on these interviewers. So thank them for their time today. Thank them for the opportunity of interviewing you and wish them good luck and all the best for the rest of the interviews that they have today. With these 10 tips and tricks, you'll be well on your way to a successful medical school interview. Good luck and keep pushing forward.